So this is a review of some algebra terminology, and a lot of people get freaked out about algebra, um, but really it's just reminding yourself of what the terminology is and then practicing that. Um, let's have a look at some of the things that you would have learned in the past. So a reminder, a variable is just a letter. It represents one or more numbers. Um, and it can change depending in an expression 2x plus 5, if x was 1, that would equal 7. But if x was 3, that would equal 11. Okay, so the variable can change in um, depending on the situation. A term then can be a number or a variable, or can be a combination of numbers and variables put together. So for example, x squared, 4a, 1 half x, 6, those are all terms. When we put them together in what's called an algebraic expression, that's just a combination of numbers and variables put together with signs between them. And so terms are simply separated by addition or subtraction signs. So in this expression down here, 3x plus 2y plus 10, this has three terms. 3x is one term, 2y is one term, and 10 is another term. So terms, again, can be a combination of just letters, just numbers, or numbers and letters together. So some more words for you to review. Like terms. So we have terms. We can have terms that are like each other. For example, x, 7x, and negative 2x, or 3a squared, negative 4a squared, and 9a squared. Those are called like terms because they have the same variable raised to the exact same exponent. But then you can have unlike terms, which have different variables, or they might have the same variable but have different exponents. So x and x squared, those are not like terms. Um, x and 3t, obviously different variables, they are not like terms. Then it gets a little bit confusing. So if a term has a variable, number in front of that is called the coefficient. So for example, 3x, 3 would be the coefficient. It tells you how many x's there are. Terms that do not have variables are called constants because they're always going to be the same regardless of what x is or y is or whatever. That constant will never change. So for example, um, in 2x plus 5, the 5 is considered a constant. It doesn't have a variable. So in this example here, 2x minus 4y plus 7, 2 and, be careful here, negative 4 are the coefficients. So remember, that sign goes with the number. So the negative 4y, that's the subtraction sign, is also a negative, saying that that 4 is negative. They're the coefficients. 2x, negative 4y, and 7 are terms. And then 7, because it has no variables, is considered a constant. So that is just a little bit of a review of some of the terminology with algebra. In the next video, we're going to look at some examples with that.